everybody welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel hashtag movie bay i am movie bay and in this video i'm going to be reviewing <laughs> episode 14 of baddies east when i tell y'all this season is so long and drawn out like half the ish that we see and we don't need to see baddies south west whatever the hell came before this was over by episode 14 it was the season finale by episode 14 what the, is really going on and then next week it's like nothing is still going to be going on you know what i'm saying like bro raise your hand if you really want me to continue doing this shit <laughs> because i don't want to do it i don't want to do it <laughs> but i guess i guess we can just complain together <laughs> Now, before we get too into it, though, if you're new to my YouTube channel, you might as well drop down and hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Because here on Movie Bay, I do reviews, reactions, and commentaries to movies and television. And if that is the type of content that you like, you might as well stick around and hit the subscribe button. And if you find yourself enjoying my commentary along the way, don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up and or drop a comment down below. Now, if you notice that I'm breathing harder than roly poly -oly right now, <laughs> I was like, damn, I'm breathing harder than a bitch. It's because I'm sick, y'all. So if you hear me breathing hard or my me sniffling or that I sound like Big Biggie, got it. Like, that's why, okay? So just let y'all know, like, I'm powering through for y'all because I really don't want to do this shit. Like, I really fucking don't. But let's go ahead and get into it. So, like, can we all agree that Zeus sucks? Like, how do you come back? Like, how do you start an episode and you don't show, like, the beginning of the fight? Like, it just come back, like, somebody recording it off their phone and just moving around, like, what? Anyway, so, Biggie and E.T. going at it because E.T. broke ass, wanted to try to touch Biggie's stuff. Like, violation, like, like I said on my live, we didn't like that shit on BGC. We don't like that shit now. I don't even know why you would think that shit was cool. Like, what? And then E.T. got the nerve to be like, woof, woof, who let the dogs out? <laughs> bitch, we the same age. I would never make that whack ass, corny ass reference. Bitch, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Shut up. You thought you ate. You thought you ate. But you know who ate? Biggie. Because Biggie said, bitch, Natalie let that dogs out, bitch. She let you out, bitch. She put the battery in your back. And you doing her dirty work. Like, type shit. <laughs> that bitch said, woof, woof. Who let the dog? You fucking cornball. And then she want to do these goddamn crazy eyes, bro. Have y'all ever seen that movie called? Damn, what's the, the new guy? <laughs> have y'all ever seen the new guy, bro? If you have never seen the new guy, when you are done with this review, hence, when you're done with this review, after you have liked it and left a comment, yeah, type in the new guy crazy eyes in YouTube. <laughs> and tell me that's not what E.T. did. Tell me that's not what she did, bro. Okay, so anyways, she made these crazy ass face like, bitch, you ain't scaring nobody but your kids. That shit might work on your little kids, but that shit don't work on grown ass women. Like, put your eyes back in your head, bitch. The fuck is you looking at? That's why T put her bag down on your ass, because bitch, put them eyes back in your big ass head. Then you got this big beluga well ass bitch right here, bro. First off, this is her second time sabotaging Biggie and her wigs. The first one, she ripped up. The second one, she gonna throw into the woods. Like, I ain't never seen a bitch hating so hard that you gotta literally sabotage her so she can't go out with y'all. Like, the fuck? Then, like, bro, just look at this bitch, bro. Just look at this bitch, bro. How do you have a BBL and you still bad built? How do you have a fat transfer and they didn't move any down to your goddamn knees and calves and your ankles, bitch? Like, how the did you have a fat transfer and they didn't move anything down to the lower half of your legs? Like, can we give a round of applause for this bitch knees? Can we give a round of applause for this bitch ankles? Because I don't know how to, they holding up all this undistributed ass weight that she got going on right now. Bitch, your knees is bent in like the letter K, bitch. Like, how the fuck you got a waist trainer on and it ain't training shit, bitch. That is running wild, bitch. It's running loose right now. Like, can you make it make sense to me? How you got a BBL? How do you have any type of plastic surgery and you still got cottage cheese on your motherfucking thighs, bitch? Like, what? They should have took some fucking fat out your fucking thighs. And ain't nothing wrong with cottage cheese, bitch. I got cellulite, too. But I haven't had surgery. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like when you have surgery, it's to fix all of that, and all of that is, is still there. And you wanna know why? Because you think the gym is for broke bitches. No, you idiot. Because when you have plastic surgery, you still got to go to the gym to get all that shit toned up. Or you're going to be looking a hot ass mess like you can do right now, bitch. It's this girl. It's this lady on YouTube. Her name is Voodoo Doll. And when she said that Rolly looked like the motherfucking Kool-Aid man, bitch, I cannot unsee it. I cannot unsee it. Hey, Kool-Aid. Rolly, you look like the motherfucking Kool-Aid man, bitch. And you got the nerve to try to hang on the bitch. Matter of fact, that's why you hang on the bitch, bitch. Because you done had surgery and you still bad bill, bitch. The fuck? Look at T and then look at Rolly. This is proof that you get what the fuck you pay for, bitch. Let's go ahead and get into Suki and these two begging ass hoes right here. Now, I say that to say this. Both Biggie and Smiley desire friendship from these bitches. Like, these are two type of women that are pick me's. They want to be liked. Especially by these group of women, okay? Now, the only difference is Biggie, quote unquote, stands up for herself despite what Suki thinks. You need to stand up for yourself. That's what Biggie does. But every time she does, y'all try to shoot her down. But, anyways, the only difference is Biggie does stand up for herself, but she will turn right around, like she'll fight and then turn right around and be like, but why, bro? But why, bro? Like, no, ain't no why. Because after you fight, you don't need no type of solution. That was supposed to be the solution. You, some bitches just don't like you. They don't have a reason because they don't know the reason, Biggie. Just let it be. Now, Smiley, on the other hand, I don't know what's wrong with that girl. She just need help. She, I don't know what's wrong with her, y'all. I'm going to skip her. I'm skipping over that. All right, so everything after this moment was really, like, hockey boring for real. Like, this whole episode was boring for real. So, if this review is boring, it's because the episode was boring, okay? Anyhow, I put this screenshot on here because you can just see that Suki is ready to go home and she don't want nothing to do with these bitches. But on the other hand, Sapphire has been waiting all her life for a moment like this. Now, you got House B bus. And I just want to call out Sky on this. Like, I feel like Sky is going too hard for something that she didn't even see happen. Like, granted, in the moment... You know, you want to believe a woman when she says she's been violated. You do. You do. And then the moment that Biggie was like, I did not set that up. To me, it would just be like, hmm. But I really feel like Sky's just yum, 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 eating that shit up. Like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. And Biggie, these bitches is not your friends like Suki said. These girls is not your friends like Suki said. And I'm going to get into that just a little bit later. Just a little bit. Now... As y'all saw, Biggie has on a white t-shirt and a cap, no wig. But everybody is confused as to, why would she come to the club like this? What is she planning on doing? Are y'all fucking stupid? You know she ain't going to the club with no wig on. Like, y'all know she ain't going to the club with a white t-shirt, some blue jeans, and no wig on, no makeup on. But everybody's surprised that she ran up on E.T. Are y'all fucking stupid? Like, are you dumb? Who was that? Who was that? For real, though? Like, quit playing. I thought it was a man. Oh, so everybody's just out to get E.T., huh? Girl, get the fuck out of here. Then you got Roly. Roly throwing stuff. And Scotty talking about, she threw her Gucci shoe, bitch. You know that it was not no Gucci shoe. And if it was a Gucci shoe, bitch, Roly, you know you better go get it back because they don't make your size, baby. You know that's a limited special edition, bitch. You better go and get that back, okay? Matter of fact, don't even put the brand name on there. Because the moment that Wick find out that, oh, she can afford Gucci, they're going to take them stamps away from her ass. Rolly acting like these goddamn kitten heels really going to hurt somebody. Bitch, ain't nobody going to get hurt by them church heels, bitch. I rebuke them heels in the name of the Lord, okay? The next on the glow up list, what you need to do is get them jailhouse tattoos removed off of your body. That's what you need to be doing. Bitch, do y'all see that around her neck? Is that supposed to be a necklace, bitch? Bitch, I thought that was a dirt ring. Then she got the nerve to say Biggie popped up to the club looking like Peter Griffin. In the next fucking scene, who the fuck is you looking like, bitch? Respusha. That's who you looking like, bitch. Now, I'm going to break down this pool party scene and um, all the fake bitches that's on the show in general. First, you got E.T. hiding in the bushes like a lame -o, like just lame. But as she's hiding in the bushes, you have the girls from House A 
just yelling, just a whole bunch of fucking screaming going on. And then the girls in house B, they come in and they start screaming, hey, everybody. It's just a whole bunch of fucking noise happening. It's just so loud. It's just so loud. So then E.T. is like, shh, to anybody that might see her or whatever. And she tries to throw water on Biggie out of a water bottle. Out of a, have y'all ever, listen, listen to me. Have you ever tried to throw water on somebody out of a water bottle? It's hard. A lot of the time, it doesn't even go anywhere. If you want to do something like that, bitch, use a cup. Use a cup. You, I would have preferred you had the water balloons and just threw them at her. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing for real? So then she tries to wrestle Biggie into the water, but it's Big Biggie, bitch. <laughs> it's Big Biggie. Not the little one like you thought it was, okay? And that was that didn't go anywhere. That didn't go anywhere at all. Security breaks it up. Now, during this scuffle and afterwards, you have people like Natalie, Roly, and Scotty throwing water balloons and squirting guns and throwing the water gun at Biggie. Telling her, boo, boo, go home, you dirty bitch. Go home, ho. Go home, you fat bitch. <laughs> fat bitch. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? And my Porsche boys, bitch. Who said that? Roly big ass said that. Roly big ass had the nerve to tell Biggie, go home, you fat bitch. Roly, <laughs> girl. You the one who got a BBL and you still be. You the one that had cosmetic cosmetic surgery and you still bad bill, bitch. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Fat bitch? You're the biggest bitch on the cast. Yeah. Yeah, you. You had surgery and you still fat, bitch. You are the fat bitch. Y'all know uh, BGC season I, Julie was like, and I'm still cute. And Christina said, bitch, you still fat. That's what I said in my head. Like, bitch, you still fat. You had surgery and you still fat. Can somebody please call her out on that shit, bro? And yes, Scotty, you lame for throwing a water balloon. I wouldn't be mad if Biggie served your ass up at the reunion. Natalie, you corny. Roly, you already know you whack as fuck. So anyhow, I want to talk about these bitches, though. In the midst of them throwing things and calling Biggie names, House B goes over and starts hugging everybody. Hey, everybody. Hi. I'm like, bro, and this is the fake we be talking about on the Internet. This is right here. This right here is the fake that we be talking about on the Internet. It's not about standing up for a grown ass woman like, oh, she grown. She got to stand up for herself. Understood. But when you see lame ass, call out that lame ass. That has nothing to do with fighting Biggie's battles. That's called being a real one. Because no way, no way would I have walked into a house and, and have y'all throwing shit at somebody who, who at my roommate, somebody I've been kicking it with, smoking it with, eating with, sleeping with, not sleeping with like that, but y'all know, slumbering with, bitch, day in and day out, and y'all bomb her with water balloons and start calling her names when her beef not even with y'all, it's with E.T.? Like, no way would I go over and hug everybody after that. Like, during that, in the midst of that. Like, that shit is whack. And that is why the fans be calling y'all out on the internet. Because that's some whack, corny-ass shit. And Biggie, I don't give a f- how many times you go live with these bitches. These bitches is not your friends. And I don't care, Camila, that, oh, they don't show us talking in the house. And they don't show us teaching them how to fight and defend themselves. I don't care about none of that shit. I don't care about none of that shit. Because when it come down to it, when House A is ganging up on one of your roommates... Ganging up, not one on one, ganging up. None of y'all bitches are to be seen nor heard from. All y'all bitches on mute, like y'all at a Beyonce concert, bitch. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all, all y'all bitches is corny and y'all too old for that whack ass shit. Holy, you real life built like somebody grandma, bitch, with them long ass titties, girl. Put them hoes up. I really, I'm low key interested to see. Now, out of all the, out of all the surgeries that she wants to get, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought about her back lift that's on the schedule for next year. She, I, I understand the breast reduction and the implants. That I want to see. Everything else, like, I don't know what the f- you got going on, girl. Anyways, next episode, Biggie gonna run up again, but y'all already know they gonna chop and screw that fight like they do every fight. Um, 
We also see that E.T. looks the prettiest that she's ever looked ever. And then, oh, it was just a fluke. And then, of course, this show just never fucking ends. And I'm sick of this shit already. Thank y'all so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Hopefully, I, I try, y'all. I really try with this video. One, I'm not feeling good. Two, I'm not feeling these bitches. So, give me a thumbs up for powering through. Drop that in the comments. Leave your thoughts and opinions on this episode. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.